Hi, my name is Jonna and welcome to my channel. This video is slightly different from the videos that I typically do, but I think it's one that I've been wanting to do for quite some time now. The other day I was having a panic attack and it was triggered by my emetophobia. And I was searching through YouTube trying to find a video of someone talking me through it and just being comforting and being there and I couldn't find any. And I knew for a while that I should probably make a video like this, but I figured there were probably so many out there that people could look for and like, what would make mine special? But then when I couldn't find one, I thought, hey, now's the time. People need this. I need this. Um, why not give it a shot? So here I am now in front of my camera and I'm just going to talk for however long I talk. <laughs> It'll probably end up being close to an hour, but trust me, this video is not an hour. I promise I will edit it down. For the people that might not know what emetophobia is, I'm going to write the description in the description box because this video is going to be about talking you through a panic attack. In the comments, Please, please avoid any sort of triggers, any sort of meanness or hate. This is a safe place. You've come to a safe place. I'm here for you, and everyone who watches this that comments and supports is here for you. And this is a place for love and acceptance and understanding. Okay, right now I want you to take a few deep breaths. And I know that might be hard right now because you're panicking, but I also promise you that you are strong and you can do this. We can do it together. Breathe in. Breathe out. Do that a couple of times. You can do it. I'm here for you. Take your time. I can't stress that enough. Take your time. You are safe. You are healthy. You are going to be okay. This feeling right now, it's not going to last. It will be over as soon as you know it. And you're not alone, I'm here. I might not be there with you physically, but I know how you feel and I'm not leaving. I'm right here to talk to you. Just keep breathing, keep breathing. It doesn't even have to be deep breaths, just you're okay. Do you have some water with you? If not, it always helps to have a glass of water at your side to help you just relax and realize that you are okay. So if you want to, pause this video and go get some water. I promise it will help. Once you have some water, make sure you're lying down or sitting or even standing, whatever makes you the most comfortable, make sure you're in a comfortable position. It's okay to take the time that you need to calm down. There's no rush, there's no pressure. It's just you and me and it's going to be okay. I know that in the moment you probably feel really nauseous and really scared and you're probably thinking about the last time you were sick. Trust me, I know that's terrifying. But the good news is that they're thoughts, they're just thoughts, and the nauseousness is just a physical reaction to panic and anxiety. You will not be sick. I personally have worried about being sick probably every day for three years, and I have not gotten sick at all. So I've worried about it a million times. Has it happened? No. It's important to remember that. It's so important to remember that getting sick is a rare Thing. You can go years and years and years without getting sick. It's your body's last resort and it hardly ever goes there. Right now, you're safe, you are healthy, and you're going to make it through this. Something that always helps me is visualization, so we can try to talk through that if you want. If you don't want to, you don't have to try it. It's okay, this is your time. You can do whatever helps you. But if you want to try visualization, I'm here to try to talk you through it. Think of a place where you feel completely safe and happy. For me, I always pick Disney World because it's my favorite place in the world and I always feel so happy there and so safe and completely content. Once you think of a place, I want you to picture it. What do you see there? What's in front of you? What's beside you? What kind of things can you see? Look around. What does it look like? Do you see flowers? Do you see grass? Do you see trees? Do you see an ocean? Do you see sand? Just picture everything you can. Imagine that you are there right now and just look around and immerse yourself in the place. What can you smell? Do you smell popcorn? Do you smell an ocean breeze? Do you smell freshly cut grass? Do you smell flowers? Do you smell cinnamon? What does it smell like? Now what can you feel? Do you feel sand under your feet? Do you feel a soft blanket? Do you feel the breeze from the wind? Is it hot? Is it cold? Or is it just comfortable? Now what can you hear? Do you hear the waves crashing? Do you hear soft music? Do you hear laughter? You are now in this place. Now hold on to that, okay? Stay in that place for as long as you can. I promise it really does help. And remember to keep breathing. You are so, 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 so much stronger than you think you are. And this whole thing, this whole feeling of panic, it will pass. 
and it will not kill you. It will not harm you. You are safe, I promise. And I know you might feel alone or weird or like you're some sort of freak, but trust me, none of that is true. I can relate. I'm here to tell you right now that I can relate to what you're feeling and that I have felt it many, many, many times before. Maybe try listening to some music or watching TV or reading your favorite book, anything that makes you feel comfortable. It's okay to take care of yourself. It's okay to take a step back from whatever you're doing, whether it's homework or work or anything, anything at all. It's okay to take a step back and realize that you need some time. Mint gum always helps me. I don't know why exactly. I think I know why, but I can't think of why right now. Um, but mint gum, chewing mint gum always helps me. I always have water, mint gum, and I always find a comfortable position and listen to music like Ed Sheeran. Ed Sheeran is very calming. If you don't like Ed Sheeran, it's okay. There's Coldplay, there's Band of Horses, there's Fleet Foxes. There are so many things that you can do right now. But do it in your own time. There is no rush. You are safe right now. You are healthy and you are safe and this feeling will pass. If you're nauseous, it's just anxiety. That's just a symptom of anxiety and it's going to go away with the panic. I'm here for you, you aren't alone. It's okay that it's scary, it's okay that it's frightening, it's okay that this is happening. It's not your fault, it's not your fault at all. It's not your fault. I know it feels awful, but it's okay that it's happening. It'll pass, it's okay. Don't be hard on yourself, this isn't something you can control and I understand that and you'll be surprised how many people will understand that. And I'm proud of you. I'm really, really proud of you right now because guess what? You're making it through and you're strong and you're going to be okay. And that's something to be very proud of. The fact that you can get up every morning and face things and do things, that's special. That is courageous and I'm very, very proud of you. Emetophobia is a hard thing. It's a very, very hard thing because it's something you can't really avoid all the time. Like you can't avoid triggers that much. You can try, but there's a lot out there, whether it be TV or movies or books, and it's awful. I'm sending you tons of virtual hugs. I wish I could hug you right now in real life. Here, I can try. Let me hug the camera. <laughs> Sorry if this gets weird. <laughs> You're okay, I'm here for you. That was a little weird. Hopefully it made you laugh because I know sometimes if I laugh, it helps with my panic. The main points that I can stress to you right now are keep breathing, stay calm, stay in a safe place, keep yourself safe, drink water, and maybe get some mint gum. But above all of those, all six of those, they all add up to take care of yourself. It's not selfish, it's not wrong, it's not dumb to take care of yourself. It's good, it's so good to take care of yourself. And by watching this and trying to calm down, you are taking care of yourself. And that is such a wonderful step and I am so proud. Things are going to get better. And I know that's such an empty Hallmark card statement, but I promise that each panic attack will end, they will come and they will end. And you will always, 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 always make it through. And the more you get through, the more your confidence will build and the easier it will get. And I promise I'm here to say it does get easier. Emetophobia itself gets easier. I've had it for three years and the first year I had it, I was a mess. I just I took over my life. Now, I guess I still panic over it. Yes, there's still triggers that bother me, but it's better, it's more manageable, and you'll get there too. Maybe you're there now, that's great, but it doesn't have to happen like that. In fact, it probably won't happen like that. It'll happen in your own time, and that's okay. You can watch this video as many times as you want, and leave comments if you want other sort of videos like this so that I can be there for you guys because I really, really want to be. I really want to help people because I know what it's like to feel like you're alone and that it's the end of the world and that you're panicking and there's no one there to help you. That's awful and I don't want anybody to have to feel that way. I love you all. You are safe. You're going to be okay. I hope this helps. I love you so, so, so much and I promise you are healthy and you are safe. Bye.